Have you ever wondered how bullets work? What happens when you put them in the pistol and they go bang? Well, let's step into the classroom and we'll discuss it. Now remember class, gunpowder is not an explosive, it's a propellant. Let me prove it to you. Observe what happens. Now class, what did you observe? What you should have seen was heat, light, and rapidly expanding gases in a controlled burn, not an explosion. That controlled burn and the rapidly expanding gases pushes a projectile down through the barrel and makes it fly through the air. These are the components necessary to produce a finished round of ammunition. This is a 9mm Luger round that came from Federal and it is fully loaded ready to fire. These are the components of it. You need a case, which is usually made of brass, that has a hole in the bottom where the primer goes and a flash hole where the primer spark can ignite the gunpowder. You have a primer. The primer is hit by the firing pin, produces a spark, and ignites the gunpowder. And then you have the projectile that flies out the end of the barrel. Now gunpowder comes in a couple different shapes and forms. You have a flake powder, a ball powder, and an extruded powder. Now this all changes the rate of burn of the powder. Now powder creates a controlled burn. It is not an explosive. C4 is an explosive and produces a blast wave that is supersonic, which is greater than 1,100 feet per second or 720 knots, something like that. Gunpowder doesn't burn that rapidly. It burns slower. Now it's measured in milliseconds, but it is comparatively slower than an explosive. Now the type of gunpowder you use depends on what you want to fire. This is a 308 round. You're shooting it through an 18 or 20 inch barrel. You're going to use an extruded powder that burns much more slowly. This 9 millimeter round goes through a 4 inch barrel. So you're going to use a powder that's going to burn quicker. If you make the little BB smaller, it'll burn faster. If you make the flakes smaller, it'll burn faster. If you make the extruded little logs longer, they'll burn slower. So the bullet maker can control the rate of burn by using the gunpowder appropriate for each round of ammunition that he uses. So now what happens, Boyle's Law says that when you take a, a powder like this or any other type of rapidly expanding gases and you put it in an enclosed container, it exerts pressure equally on all sides of the container. So if you were to take this bullet and set it on fire or somehow ignite it, the heaviest part of the bullet is a projectile. So the projectile would want to stay in one place, the brass case would rupture and it would fly through the air in pieces. So to prevent the brass case from rupturing, you have to put it in a barrel. This is a blank round, there's no powder, no primer in it, so there's no danger. As you can see, the case goes into the barrel and it is supported on all sides by the round barrel. And the only place where the explosives can go is out through the back or through the front. So the barrel sits in the slide and as you can see covers the projectile in the rear covers the case in the rear so all these rapidly expanding gases are controlled in where they're going to expand and the only place they can possibly go is out through the barrel those rapidly expanding gases give the barrel kinetic energy and gives it movement through the air This is a 9mm projectile and it holds 5.5 grains of unique powder. This is a 38 special projectile, holds 4.2 grains of unique powder. Same powder, just about the same bullet diameter. The density in this cartridge is about 90%. It's almost full inside there. In this cartridge, the density is only about 50%. That affects the way the powder burns. This one burns more efficiently because it's compacted and burns better. This one will burn less efficiently and show more smoke because there's more room. Let me prove it to you.
In the recent novel, The Lost Symbol, by Dan Brown, Robert Langdon is the main character. He was speaking with his class one day and said, Open your minds, my friends. We all fear what we do not understand. Open your minds, my friends. Learn about ballistics. Learn about the guns. Learn how they operate. Be a better shot. Anyone can pull a trigger, but only a marksman can hit the target. Until next time, shoot safely and shoot often.